Correlation in Credit Scoring Correlation explains how Y varies when X changes. It measures the degree of association or covariance between two variables. However, correlation does not imply causation. If you look at the following graph, we see a strong correlation between mozzarella consumption and the civil engineering doctorates awarded in the US. However, it will not make sense to imply causation between those two variables. Correlation coefficients vary between minus one and one. Correlation coefficient close to zero would mean a weak correlation and correlation to the extremes would either mean inverse or direct relationship. In credit scoring, we would typically use Pearson and Spearman correlation methods. Pearson correlation, also known as product moment correlation, measures the linear relationship between two variables. The formula calculates R, also known as rho, which represents the covariance between x and y. R square will explain what percentage of y is explained by changes in x and vice versa. To use this formula, the data can only be continuous, normally distributed, and linear relationship. It cannot be discrete, binary, ordinal, or have large amounts of outliers. Let's see an example of how Pearson correlation is applied to credit scoring. In this graph, we have the probability of getting a loan versus the age and income, with rho of 0.9. Here, we see the probability of getting a credit versus age and income. For this, rho is 0.6. In hypothesis testing, we would ask ourselves if the rho scores are significantly different from each other. To perform such a test, we would need normally distributed data, which is not the case here. To transform to normally distributed data, we would apply the Fisher's transformation With the normally distributed data, we can apply the hypothesis testing. Then we can decide if the probability of getting a loan is equal or different from getting a credit, using age and predictor and income as predictors. Moving to Spearman rank correlation, we typically use it when we do not have linear relationship between our data or when data is not normally distributed. Data has to be at least ordinal. It is basically a ranking order transformation followed by a Pearson correlation. The transformation happens by replacing the current, the current the currently value of the measure by its position relative to the to other observations. Let's say 23 is the minimum observed value of the of the measure, and 25 is the maximum. 23 would represent 0%, and 25 will represent 100%. This simple percentage-like transformation gives the Spearman correlation the ability to assess non-linear relationship and to handle outliers. Credit scoring uses this correlation to compare scores on different scales or do benchmarking or compare own internal risk versus agency risk. Thank you for watching.